All right, so this is basically a small little video of how to um, get rid of these messages, the scams that they have on uh, Safari on iPhones. And basically, uh, you might get these messages surfing on um, less popular websites, whether it be like some adult websites or some anime websites or just some other websites, video game related websites. Um, they're basically almost everywhere. Uh, sometimes when you accidentally click on an ad, they'll pop up. And basically what it does, uh, usually, um, it'll pop this message up and there's different ones. These are um, just messages that I Googled because I was trying to get a get an actual message, but I've you know I've been trying for 30 minutes and I can't find anywhere to actually uh, have my Safari locked or get locked out of my Safari. But basically what happens is this message will pop up whenever you're trying to go into any uh, new tab. So you, you can't get rid of it. Like you'll push OK and it just pops up again. So you can't get rid of the tab. You can't open new tabs. If you do open new tabs, it'll uh, restart and it'll pop up again. So it's just a vicious circle. And normally like this one's like the tech support or something. And then it'll have a number to call. And then you're supposed to give them your credit card information so that they you know, don't release your information or so that you're actually able to use your phone or it'll say that it'll, they'll encrypt your phone and if, you know, you don't pay them back or pay them by a certain time, you know, just some random stuff. It's just a bunch of scams. But basically, so like, this is the, one of the ones that I've run into. Um, and there's some other ones here. I just, like I said, I just went on Google and just Googled a bunch of different ones. Uh, the funniest one that I've seen is the FBI one um, and some of these messages actually since it's a on one of the ones that I clicked on the ad one it'll actually have like where you live not the exact address but it'll like uh, basically uh, find the closest I guess server or something like that so it'll have either your state or your city or something like that um, so to somebody who doesn't really mess around with uh, computers that much or iPhones or whatever that might freak somebody out it's just like the telephone calls from the FBI saying like oh yeah you owe taxes or no the tax people or the FBI saying that there's you have some kind of criminal record or warrant for your arrest or something like that because I've actually received the ones where they say uh, that your taxes that you owe uh, money on your taxes and it, you have to pay the fine and all this and you usually have to pay like five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars and it's usually some some random uh guy at first he's nice and stuff but then when you try to like get more information out of him he starts getting rude and then towards the end he just starts yelling at you and threatening you they're all scams and um they're basically the what is it the Ni nigerian prince one and the latest one I've seen was the Russian one. I don't know. That's the one I've been seeing a lot in my emails, where it's like some Russian girl wants to get married and, you know, just a typical way to scam money. Um, but yeah, so on your iPhone, basically what you have to do uh, to be able to use your iPhone again, because you can't get out of it, and even if you try to get out of uh, Safari, like you try to delete um, all, all the apps that are running or restarting your phone, it'll just keep on popping up. So there's basically three ways to get rid of it. Uh, the, the first one that I'm going to be going with, it doesn't work all the time, it works sometimes. Basically you would have to go into your, um, uh, let me see, you would have to go into airplane mode. Once you're in airplane mode, basically you can't connect to the internet or your data. And then uh, first you would make sure that you're out of all your um, tabs and all your apps. So you turn on airplane mode and then you go into your tabs and uh, when it you click on uh, Safari and when it's first loading up you try to basically open up all your tabs and then delete them all. So that works you know half percent of half of the percent of the time it works half it doesn't. Um, those are I think for the older type of um, scams that they have. Uh, if that doesn't work then uh, you have this uh, the second way of doing it, which is what I usually do if I ever run into this message. And that's basically, uh, you would get out of Safari completely. You, and you get all, out of all the apps, and then you go and you open up your notes. 
right? So basically you close out of the Safari, um, all your apps, go into notes, type in anything you want. So I typed in Google, then you go and hold Google and then you go to look up. And then when you do that, you click on the Safari. So by doing this, you bypass the scam message and it opens a new tab of Google, which will allow you to access all your tabs. So then you can go from here and then delete all your tabs. So that's the way I do it. It's just a lot easier than the other two or the other two methods. So basically, like I said, get out of Safari and all the other apps, then go into uh, notes, type in whatever you want, and then uh, click and hold until you see uh, search or search, you know, like define. And then it'll open up a new tab where you'll be able to access all your other tabs. And then you just delete it. You delete all the tabs and then you're good to go. So that's, um, that's uh, my preferred method. The other way of you can do this is you go into settings. And then I believe you go into, I'm not, if I remember correctly, it's... It's not privacy. You go into general and then you go into the Safari restrictions VPN. As you can see, I don't really use this method that much, so so you go into Safari and then basically you're looking for clear oh here we go. Okay, so basically let me get out of here. You would open up settings, you go all the way to Safari. And then when you're in Safari, you go down and then you clear on clear history and web data. So that's an another way of doing this where it will allow you to get rid of um, whatever pages you're having an issue with. And then when you open your tabs, you should be back at a fresh page. Um, but like I said, my preferred method is basically like going into notes and then holding down. And then, like I said, so look up search web and then that opens up a new tab which will allow you to close out of everything so uh, hopefully this helps um, and don't freak out it's not the FBI it's not some mastermind you know hacker somewhere around the world that's gonna release all your information or whatever their the message is it's just an annoying um, it's kind of like a phishing because basically you get yourself into trouble by calling them or sending your information out so then you actually provide them the means for them to be able to I guess blackmail you or you know actually get a ransom from you so yeah those are the three methods hopefully this video helped um, yeah